Oftentimes, life tends to bring on things that none of us really predict, and it, it's, I guess, what one of the things that makes life interesting, and you can't always be prepared for everything, but it's important, I feel, to at least plan uh, for things that possibly could happen. Long-term care, um, with today's medical situations, I mean, you can survive for quite a long time sometimes, and uh, the cost of health care certainly is not going to uh, decrease over time. In fact, it's, it's always outpaced inflation. My father worked very hard to uh, make sure that my mother was taken care of. I mean, I never, we never thought that anything would happen to her, but I mean, there's always that chance. And uh, if something did, then, you know, we hate to see her lose the home and, and all, all the, uh, the money that my father had, uh, you know, built up for her. A lot of people worry about losing their home. That's the one thing they lose up, and that's really the one thing most of these nursing homes take from you. I was really very happy that I made this decision. This policy enables you to keep your home. You don't have to worry about your home, them taking it from you, Medicaid coming in. I think that I was probably younger than most people at, at age 50 to purchase a partnership plan. Uh, and I did so mostly because I felt this huge responsibility to my disabled wife. It's just, I guess, the peace of mind knowing that if something should happen, she's nearing 89, I mean, you know, she may be needing some care. One of the things that I did is I, I actually um, discontinued my disability policy, but then got a long-term policy, a long-term care policy, because the real trick here is that we never know when we're going to need anything, and we hope we never do, but if you do, um, you're best prepared if you try to anticipate that you might have a need for it. She had some friends of, from the church that she helped take care of that, you know, I mean, one woman, I mean, just, I, I forget if she had Alzheimer's or whatever, but she didn't have any coverage, and uh, her funds got drained in no time because it, because it is so expensive. I've been independent my whole life. This is the next phase of my life now. <laughs> my feeling was is that I, uh, I really had no problem paying um, to cover myself with the idea that if anything awful does happen, at the end of the insurance policy, at least the state will step in and they won't require uh, the complete liquidation virtually of our assets. Well, I can't think of myself without it because I've had it now for about eight or nine years and uh, I know that I have it and I don't worry.